serious Redditors who have done DMT, what was your experience like? As I was taking a third inhale, I started to feel a circle of energy form in the back of my throat. As I swallowed, I felt it go down and spread through my whole body, and as I finally exhaled, I felt my body slowly rise and shoot straight forward at the speed of light, while colors of indescribable neon brightness shot past. Complex geometric shapes began to form, and I felt my body slowing in space, but still moving forward. A landscape began to form, much like our own, but with every color in the spectrum intensified. Shapes were more jagged, like mountains in the distance, and yet everything was connected by a fractal pattern. As I look up, I can see a figure towering behind the mountains. It was a calming presence made of circles and sharp lines. I also saw a bright circle in the sky that began to warp everything around it until the sharp geometric lines turned into more organic blobby goop while maintaining its neon color and brightness. I felt my consciousness being pulled in. As I moved through the goop, two separate visions of my two nieces appear, one on the left, one on the right. The images seemed to move by fast, but I was able to feel each memory individually as if I were reliving them. After that, the most I remember is feeling like reality slowly came back to view. Except the fractal pattern from before remained, connecting everything in my view. The experience left me with an overwhelming feeling of connectivity to my family and the world. I've smoked DMT nearly 10 times. I've woken up and smoked. I loved it that much. I won't go into too much detail since there's plenty of accurate enough or at least as accurate as there can be descriptions of the experience. Uh, it smells like mothballs and turns to a liquid when heated, uh, which really tripped me out the first time I smoked it, <laughs> since I didn't know this. Uh, I've had trips where I've visited other beings in different worlds and dimensions, all extremely happy uh, for me to be visiting, all very welcoming. I've had trips where I was surrounded by these beings that were operating on me and pouring a fluid made of DNA and robotics into my bloodstream. It, it tickled a lot. Uh, every time when the trip started to fade, the beings would bid me farewell very warmly. I was always incredibly happy throughout the trip, and I've had bad trips on nearly every psychedelic I've tried, which is a good amount. I've started to slip into a bad trip on DMT, but the experience was overwhelming. I could not be blown away. Once I regained mostly normal consciousness, it always felt like I was slipping back into my skin. Like my body was this tight prison cell for my mind was uncomfortable and I squirmed a quote a bit each time. Very weird. I actually take friends on skydiving adventures in Utah to do DMT. It started when I had a couple of buddies that returned from the military and would drink a lot and had a lot of anger issues. I thought it was something that could help them reset and potentially find peace again. So it's a week-long excursion to Moab, uh, Utah, where we go kayaking, mountain climbing, swimming, skydiving, etc., the second night after we kind of settle in, we smoke the DMT, but only after the skydiving and a long day of extreme physical activity. So the idea there, and I wish I could do some actual research on it, is that we want to drain the body and adrenaline gland. I think with a lot of hallucinogens, when people have bad trips, it's because they don't prep their body and emotions properly. All the physical activity helps get the body's natural receptors and juices flowing. Also, we don't need the fight or flight instinct being triggered in a trip, so the skydiving uses up and drops those epinephrine levels, so that's not an issue. That night, we smoke the DMT at our camps, and it is incredible. It's like dying, but being okay with it, flying into the universe, realizing that everything is connected, and that you only want to know more and more about everything, then coming to being super happy that you're alive again and absorbing it all. It really helped myself and my military friends. They went back to doing the hobbies they enjoyed before they went in the service. It's a great experience, and I think it would really benefit a lot of people if done properly. It's impossible to describe, but I'll try anyways. You take a deep breath of a harsh, foul-tasting smoke and hold it as long as you can. This is difficult because the smoke is a lot more uncomfortable than anything else I've smoked. You exhale and are immediately gripped by a feeling of deep happiness. Colors brighten and clouds start to dance. You feel fantastic and content like everything is in its right place. The universe is reaching out and giving you a big, warm hug. Close your eyes and you see a beautiful kaleidoscope. 
Specifically, the first time I did it, I saw a rainbow-colored Aztec temple slowly rotating. The experience lasts about a half an hour and leaves you with a sense that life is worth living. I've only ever done a small amount. People who take huge doses often report entity contact and interacting with robot elves, as Terrence McKenna called them. DMT feels like the druggiest drug in the sense that you go from stone cold sober to tripping balls in a matter of seconds. A friend and myself got a hold of some 5-Meo DMT. We were sitting in my car in a relatively dark street by a park and I took my first hit. The hallucination was minimal. All I saw was the darkness spread across the street through where the streetlight had lit. Nothing spectacular nor bad about it. What really got me was that I had stopped breathing. It's not that I couldn't breathe or my lungs seized up or anything crazy. It was as if I had forgotten how to breathe. I got out of my car and into the fresh air and started breathing again. That was it. I was too afraid to try uh, for a better experience with a higher dose. My other experience is every time I go to sleep at night. I've always had awesome dreams my whole life, and I still think that if I ever got my hands on some real DMT and in DMT, I would most likely try it. If you're intending to go on a DMT trip, make sure you're getting the real stuff and in DMT, and make sure you do your research before doing it. Have a trip sitter and know your dosage. My first experience with DMT was while already tripping balls on three 277 UG hits of LSD, so this might be biased, but it was amazing. I, I took one hit and uh, didn't feel much because I was already tripping. Take the second hit and whoa, the LSD trip is entirely gone. I'm fully immersed into a different trip. The visuals are intense geometric patterns everywhere. I couldn't have talked to someone if I wanted to. Making words just wasn't feasible at this point. I knew to truly get the fully effect, you had to force that last hit. So I take one more big hit and I'm gone. My head feels like I was just shot out of a rocket ship. For a brief moment, I see random flashes of images, probably just things around me. All I remember from this point is seeing a cup in a chair. Those were the last coherent images I saw. For the next few minutes, what felt like forever to me, I was nowhere. Not only was the world around me entirely gone, I was gone. There was no perception of me as a being. I was in a dark void full of insane, oscillating, colorful, geometric shapes swirling around me. As that world disappeared, I returned to this world full of confusion. The first coherent thought I had was, where am I right now? Colors were still all messed up. I remember the walls looking green and the couch I was on looking purple. I slowly realized where I was, but my brain was just effed. I spent the next half hour laying on the couch, trying to comprehend what just happened to me. What the F was that? Where the F was that? And just a big general, what the EF? Overall, I give the experience a big 10-10. Would highly recommend. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It was amazing, just amazing. Words can describe what I saw, but that's only part of the experience. The overall feeling of euphoria and the destruction of the entire concept of yourself is just beyond words. It is a life-changing experience. I've smoked DMT nearly 10 times. I've woken up and smoked. I loved it that much. I won't go into too much detail since there's plenty of accurate enough, or at least as accurate as there can be, descriptions of the experience. It smells like mothballs and turns to a liquid when heated, which really tripped me out the first time I smoked it since I didn't know this. I've had trips where I visited other beings in different worlds and dimensions, all extremely happy for me to be visiting, all very welcoming. I've had trips where I was surrounded by these beings that were operating on me and pouring a fluid made of DNA and robotics into my bloodstream. It tickled a lot. Every time when the trip started to fade, the beings would bid me farewell very warmly. I was always incredibly happy throughout the trip, and I've had bad trips on nearly every psychedelic I've tried, which is a good amount. I've started to slip into a bad trip on DMT, but the experience was still overwhelming. I could not be blown away. Once I regained mostly normal consciousness, it always felt like I was slipping back into my skin, like my body was this tight prison cell for my mind. It was uncomfortable, and I squirmed quote a bit each time. Very weird. It's kind of like salvia, except it doesn't suck. It lasts like 10 minutes and takes you to a completely different place. I've been to Neon City, colored block world, and on uh, a fly flying around a room I'd never been in before. Unlike some people, 
I've never talked to any people or aliens in these places. It would be like if you took someone from an uncontacted tribe and dropped them in Times Square with no explanation. I'd highly recommend it. Just do it in a place that is safe with someone sober watching you. Most people just sit there with a blank look on their face and don't move. But you are completely in another world, meaning you can't deal with anything in this world until the effects wear off. Also, it burns your lungs pretty good and tastes like crap, so be ready for that. I have to go with the other two and say indescribable. The best way I can put it is immediately after hitting it, I left. The room didn't exist, my spotter didn't exist, and I ended up underwater, but not underwater. I honestly think that alien abductions are the brain somehow flooding your system with DMT because at some point I was laying down and there were things around me. People, but made of various polygons. One was most certainly... A queen, she didn't tell me that, but I knew I wasn't scared and there was no probing that I can recall, but I ended up getting an insane headache and that's about where I started being me again. The headache faded to a dull throb, totally manageable. It went away after 30 seconds to an hour. Um, I couldn't tell you which it was. None of what I just said is, is even close to an adequate description of what went down, but it's the best I can do without gaining full mastery of the living force. I can't really describe it, and the longer it's been since I used it, the, the memory fades more and more. Very much like a dream. Slipping into it was like wearing some kind of tight wetsuit. I remember hearing a crackling, crunching sound, like opening a bag of chips. Then I was in this infinite space of color and space. Something showed me scenes from my life, although I don't remember any of them. I was watching it from overhead, sort of like a flipbook of Polaroids or something. Whatever was showing me these things was warm. And somehow made of light. It was something familiar and soothing. After I woke up, I was the most at peace I had ever felt. I knew everything while I was there, and I came to terms with everything good and bad I had ever done or experienced. I just kind of knew everything was going to be okay. I was gone for like eight minutes. It was an entire lifetime, and the blink of an eye, all at the same time. To put it simply, I... Yes, expressing a DMT experience in words is nearly impossible, but I'll try. I've always had low self-esteem. One time during a trip, some sort of alien goddess spirit visited me. It was one of the most beautiful things I've seen. Its purpose in coming to me was to make me aware that I am a good person. It showed me all the times throughout my life that I made a positive impact someone's life without ever even knowing. It kept saying over and over again, You are worth something. You are a good person. Don't ever forget that. It made me aware that my own limited conscious not only affects the way I see the world at large, but the way I see myself. The only advice I'd give you is, is to do it with someone who's as interested in the psychedelic experience as you are. And be very quit. You almost have to learn how to coax a DMT trip into existence. Any noise at all and it won't be the same. It is a bizarre thing, an almost paradoxical thing. At times it can feel like the most natural, almost earthy, jungly, organic, and peaceful, blissful thing. At other times it can feel alien, machine-like, and rapid-paced. I will describe a single experience a hypothetical person had now. The album The Division Bell was playing. The song Cluster One, he thinks, but he's not sure. Uh, after the hit was taken normally, he sees a great deal of vivid stuff. Not this time eyes closed. There is complete blackness, but as the notes of the music start, they are expressed through the view of, of a bright little spark flying across this previously dark space and burying itself near the bottom side. The spark appeared as the note began and stopped as it did. It was the visual expression, the emotional expression of the music made tactile. At this point, he realized it was not a spark, but in fact a seed. As the notes play, the seed blooms into a flower, gaining life and time with the music. As the song gains pace, the flower is transcending, being merely a flower and is growing through the evolutionary tree until it is a young deer being brought into this world. It starts to leap and bound with the evolving life-giving music and divides into many of these young deer. The song has become the beautiful process of life coming into being itself. It was so beautiful and moving, he felt on the edge of tears, just overwhelmed with the beauty and joy. I've taken close to 100 trips myself. Throughout the four years, I've had access to it. I'd suggest everyone in the world partake in the experience, but only with proper understanding of what they're getting into. 
DMT is one hell of a roller coaster and takes a lot of courage to do, even with my experience. The world would be a better place, but perhaps our incarnations would carry less meaning. I mean, think of it this way. Imagine seeing a movie, your life. Now try to imagine that you know how they did all of the special effects, wrote script, hired the right actors, gave you the leading role. The mysteries of life are contained within, but I cannot tell you that you have to learn on your own. I will tell you of one enjoyable trip I had, though. I asked my spirit guide to take me somewhere I would like to kick back and relax too. I was pretty much instantly transported to a sunny beach of one of the Great Lakes and then to a smaller lake once the sun was setting. Just thinking about it reminds me so much of the locations I was at and it feels like it was all built just for me. I love the shoreline. Water is so relaxing. I had the pleasure of trying it for the first time in a caravan at a festival. I'd heard loads about it and knew plenty of people to back up how good it was, but was very apprehensive. I arrived at the caravan on the Sunday morning to find a bunch of my mates sitting around all blissed out and giggly after having a go of it. They were all telling me to try it, so I said, sure, yeah, go on. So one of my mates brought me into one of the rooms of the caravan away from the noise of everyone else. He put Peacock Tail on by Boards of Canada, filled me up a homemade bong of it, and away I went. Within about a second or two of inhaling, I just lay back on the bed, eyes closed. It was all I could do. Felt like I was falling, not in a particular direction, kind of like speeding through something that I could feel on every inch of my skin, like prickles or static. All I could see were all these geometric, bubbly, colorful, cog-looking things spinning really fast. I can only remember bits and pieces of the trip, but I remember that there was what seemed like an awful lot of mad crap going on. At one point, the top of the cog thing started sticking out in spikes, and then began resembling animals, and then just these blue penguin kind of things all spinning around. At another stage, there was all these Mayan-looking symbols, and were changed to shape all the time, but somehow, in my mind, I knew it was Mayan. I remember thinking... I hadn't taken a breath in a while, so I gasped and it caught the back of my throat for a second, but my mate just put his hand on my leg. I told me I was all right. That's when I began to remember that he was there, but couldn't really remember how I got to where I was. I began to feel a bit uncomfortable, and the visions I was getting got darker, with small red fractal type stuff going on in the middle. I felt someone or something telling me that I'd seen enough and that it wasn't my time or something to that effect which made me sit up bolt right in the bed I just started straight at my mate then the walls which were typical drippy trip type texture and just burst out crying all I could say was oh my god there was Mexican penguins how long was I in there <laughs> I couldn't believe that I was only lying there for around six minutes I felt like I had learned something extremely valuable to humanity felt like I had something amazing to share but didn't have the words to describe everything that had happened it was nuts. The positive buzz lasted weeks after the experience, found myself being more positive and less self-conscious. I tried it a few more times since. Other trips involved a much more personal experience, being confronted by angels and jokers. One time I smoked it alone, only to find myself face to face with this guy that was made up of segments of orange and yellow with two dancing joker type chicks on either side of him mocking me. That time was real scary. Uh, but I felt amazing after it. Like and subscribe.